History tells us that a value shift is triggered by creation of a new story about how we want to live. The ability to invent fictional stories and spread them around, of using fiction as the basis for cooperation is not a unique phenomenon to the religious field. As long as millions of people all believe in the same story, they all follow the same laws, the same norms, they all believe in the same values. And this is what enables even complete strangers to cooperate effectively. Fiction can be very good and very, also it's a very powerful tool, but it's still, it's not reality. The real difficulty is, of course, in convincing everybody to believe in the same story. You need to implant the same stories in the minds of everybody, otherwise you can't form a system of cooperation. How do you make millions of people believe in the same fictions? And in order to establish such cooperation, you need a good story. You need an ideological story or a religious story that people uh, would accept, would believe. Every new technological revolution also upsets the systems, the old systems of cooperation. And unless people can find good stories to replace the obsolete old stories, the technology by itself only results in chaos. The new stories, that the most amazing and fascinating stories which might serve as the basis for a new systems of cooperation in the 21st century world, we are beginning to see them emerging from places like Silicon Valley. Humans don't dominate the planet because they, just because they know how to produce very sophisticated technology. If they don't match this technology with good stories, technology changes the world, but whether it changes it for good or evil really depends on the stories that people believe and the stories that people use in order to organize themselves. The really big and interesting question is whether we'll be able to produce good stories to match this wonderful technology. If not, it's going to be very bad news 